Good evening. Breaking news November 16, 2021 News Headlines, International News Chinese President Xi Jinping and U.S. President Joe Biden met virtually today. China says encouraging Taiwanese independence would be playing with fire. China and the U.S. need to increase communication and cooperation and work together to advance the noble cause of world peace and development adding that this is the joint mission of Chinese and American leaders. Reports BBC and DD News China is now world's richest nation, ahead of U.S., according to a report by the research arm of consultants McKinsey and Co. China accounted for almost one-third of the increase. Its wealth skyrocketed to $120 trillion from a mere $7 trillion in 2000. Reports NDTV National News The top U.S. health body has issued a level 1 COVID-19 notice for Americans traveling to India. The new travel advisory issued on Monday by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, of Level 1 which is considered safe came in the wake of the significant improvement in the COVID-19 situation in India. U.S. expresses concern over delivery of Russia's S-400 missile system to India. The S-400 is known as Russia's most advanced long-range surface-to-air missile defense system. Reports Asian Age India reports 8,865 new COVID-19 cases, a low of 287 days. Reports Hindustan Times. PM Modi opens Provincial Expressway. Constructed at an estimated cost of about 22,500 rupees crore, the Provincial Expressway is going to give a boost to the economic development of eastern parts of Uttar Pradesh, especially the districts of Lucknow, Barabanki, Amethi, Ayodhya, Sultanpur, Amtkarnagar, Ajmagad, Mao, and Ghazipur. Telangana uses drones to inspect power lines, towers and minimizes human intervention. Reports Indian Express. PM Modi to inaugurate first Global Innovation Summit of Pharmaceuticals on November 18 at 4 p.m. Viaduct Video Conferencing. Yesterday, Sheil Vardhan Singh, IPS took over the charge of Director General, CISF. Previously, he was serving as Special Director, Intelligence Bureau. Government of India has decided to resume operations of the Sri Kartarpur Sahib Corridor for Sikh pilgrims from November 17, 2021, keeping in view improved COVID-19 situation. Reports DD News. Real estate tycoon Lalit Goyal arrested in money laundering case. He was arrested at the Delhi airport when he was about to take a flight to the US. Lalit Goyal, the managing director of real estate group IREO, was arrested by the enforcement directorate today in a case related to the alleged swindle of home buyers' money. Investigators say the allegations involve over 2,600 Indian rupees crore. IREO has been under investigation since 2010 over a separate case involving the violation of the Foreign Exchange Management Act, FEMA. Reports NDTV. Akaza Air orders 72 Boeing 737 MAX aircraft, a $9 billion deal, to launch service in India. The Ministry of Civil Aviation had last month given a No Objection Certificate NOC, for the operation of Akaza Air in India. Reports New Indian Express and NDTV. Numerous indicators suggest economic recovery is now taking hold, RBI Governor Shaktikanta Das. Reports Indian Express. Tamil Nadu News, IMD issues red alert for Chennai for November 18, predicts heavy rains. Chief Minister M.K. Stalin today launched a new brand of cement, Valami, Mighty, manufactured by the Tamil Nadu Cements Corporation Limited, TANCM, which commenced sales at a function held at the Secretariat. 30,000 metric tons of Valami brand cement will be manufactured every month. AMA brand cement to remain. They are available at 350 rupees, Portland Potsalana cement, and 365 rupees, ordinary Portland cement, per bag. CM announces 300 rupees crore for repairing roads and canals, relief package for farmers. He also announced that 20,000 rupees per hectare will be given to farmers who have lost their kurave crops ready for harvest but damaged completely due to the rains. Also, agricultural inputs worth 6,038 rupees, short-term paddy variety seeds, 45 kilograms worth Rs. 1,485, micronutrients, 25 kilograms worth 1,235 rupees, urea, 60 kilograms worth 354 rupees, and DAP, 125 kilograms worth 2,964 rupees, would be given to farmers who have lost their standing crops due to rainwater inundation. These agricultural inputs will help the farmers recultivate their crops. Reports New Indian Express. Thank you. Please subscribe free to iIntelligence iNews to get more videos on important news.